This is Nando for the Pound for Pound Boxing Show, proudly sponsored by Bravos. I'm here with Liam Davis. Liam, how you doing? Yeah, very well. Yeah, the sun's come out a little bit, so That's it's it. happy. I've just been in Tenerife, but back brilliant. in the freezing cold now. Brilliant, brilliant. We're here at the Magnificent Seven press conference. You're looking to be the sheriff. You're going to go for the IBO uh, Super Bantamweight title. Is that a surprise, or did you have that in the horizon ready for you uh, last year? Did you know about it? Um, I asked for it. It's like something my team said they want it. game, like any man two arms, two legs can game. I think it's a good fight. He's had some good wins last time he's come over. He's been over Spawn and Nui, so it's um, it's a big fight on paper, probably the toughest to date, and it's come at the perfect time for me. Like I've got good form. I'm full time this boxing. I feel like I've got better and better, and uh, I think the 16th will be uh, my breakout fight where people start to understand that um, I'm a serious fighter. We've seen in the last, let's say, three, four years, um, a lot of Mexicans have been coming here and uh, taking out British fighters. You saw your opponent took out Lee McGregor. We've seen. Um, Mexicans come in, beat the likes of Isaac Lowe, for example. Are you ready to break that curse? Yeah, do you know what it is? I think a lot of it is like the will to win, man. Like they come over here with a will to win, like yeah. major, and they do anything to get it. But I can't see him out willing me. I'm just as hungry. I want nice things in life. I want to look back at my boxing career after 20 odd years of doing it and say, you know what, I've done the best. So. I think they outwill a lot of boxers from Britain who have it easier, but I don't think I've had it as easy as most of these fighters and uh, I'm a hungry motherfucker, man. This isn't good enough, I want plenty more and if I want to be a multi-weight world champion, then I need to beat the likes of uh, Eric Robles. Do you think the mistake that other British fighters have had is um, to actually just, instead of boxing, using their brain, it's just actually trade with these Mexicans? Obviously, we've seen you win on points. You can, you, by far, probably the best boxer in Britain with um, in, in the bant bantamweight division. And if your opponents, like your last opponent, gave you an, an opportunity to stop them, do you think the, the issue was that they were just too greedy and tried to trade with the Mexicans um, instead of taking their time finding the right moment? Yeah, I think um, like a Mexican curse, and it? it seems the British fighters seem to get these Mexicans and uh, their ass sort of goes when they, it gets tough. Yeah. But I'm looking to um, change that scenario and I'm fully confident in doing so. So yeah, he's, he's gonna come give it everything. He's, um, he's gonna be matched with a man that's gonna come and give it everything as well in myself. So I think it'll be a great fight and uh, I'm looking to steal the show, of course. The last time I spoke to you was before your last fight. You said the, you predicted exactly what was gonna happen with the Italian. You're gonna give him spaghetti legs. You knew what was coming. What do you see in Eric uh, Rob Bells in this one? Because one, he can box. He's got a lot of UD um, wins. He's won by TKO, so he can bang. He's a Mexican, of course. What do you expect from him? Um, I expect a tough fight, the toughest fight in my career, but I expect him to walk on to some bombs and um, come to some realisation that fucking hell, it wasn't this hard last time. Yeah, that's, that's generally what I believe. I believe I'm his toughest fight like he's mine and yeah. um, may the best man win. You was uh, on the same table as Dennis McCann. Um, I kind of knew something was going to be said anyway. Did you expect it? <laughs> yeah, of course. But I like that anyway. It's a massive, like, it's the biggest fight in the super bad and weight division in Britain. And uh, hopefully we can both do the business and we can get it done. How Do you think it's the right moment that if he gets past Strand, you get the IBO? Before there was talk of you guys, you know, competing for all three belts, the British, the Commonwealth, the EBU. Is the IBO the perfect belt now for, for that fight to happen in the future? Mm, I don't know. I think with no belts, it would be good, but yeah, probably make it bigger, the IBO world title. Yeah, definitely. It would be a big one. How, how do you feel about your opponent been sparring uh, in a way as well? I feel like you'd have probably got bashed. <laughs> so who knows? Who knows? I don't really think about it too much. Fair play to him. I'd have took the opportunity too if they offered me, but... Um, could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. We're about to find out, aren't we, in two months' time. 
of course. And what does it mean to you to win the IBO world title? Does it open a lot of doors for you for afterwards, um, a lot of opportunities for other world titles, uh, mandatories, etc.? Yeah. Of course it does, this is my foot in the door at world level and um, it's against a good fighter too. Sometimes you can have easy pickings and most of these fighters do, do you know what I mean? I always try and have proper fights and I feel like that always puts me in better stead for the next one. So yeah, expect a tough fight, don't be surprised if I catch him early. But let's see. <laughs> the last fight you said you was going to give the Italian the spaghetti legs. Are you going to fold the Mexican like a tortilla? Oh, yeah, definitely. That's going to be my new save. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, we know you want to, you, you expect to stop him, but give us the prediction for the Magnificent Seven. What's going to happen that night? I think there will be some good fights. I think um, starts off with a cracker, Ethan and Owen Cooper, both top lads. I think that's a great fight. You got Strand McCann. I think that's a good fight. Solomon Darcy can fight Adelaide. That's massive. I love that. I was hoping they'd both be here today. That'd be massive. But I didn't get my wish. Um, but you'll get them at the next press. I hope. Yeah, that's it. See me become world champion and uh, Nathan Eaney be Brad Paul, which is another great fight. Let me ask you one question. Um, you said at the presser you don't care, but deep down, if you, if I, not your own money, I gave you a tenner right now and you placed a bet. Who wins, Strand or McCann? Uh, probably go with draw. Draw? Yeah, to get my money's worth. That's it. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's a good fight. Obviously, McCann makes better sense for, I probably root in, from a can, even though yeah. I really don't, it don't bother me. Yeah, you know what I mean, I'm not gonna lose sleep over anything, but yeah, McCann makes business wise, McCann to win makes more sense. But wish them both the best of luck, and whoever wins, don't bother me. Brilliant, Liam Davis. I wish you the best of luck at the Magnificent Seven fighting for the IBO world title. Thank you, thank you.